Beep! Apparently you have gone missing and there's a reward for returning you. I can't believe I haven't thought of this before! Beep will be brought straight to me and I won't have to do anything myself! Along together with you for the PlayStation VR. Let's begin! First up, let's take a look at the gameplay. This is a puzzle game where you play as a kid's imaginary friend. The kid's dog has gone missing, and it's up to you to help the kid get him back. You control the kid with the DualShock's analogue stick, and your own hand is controlled with the DualShock's motion sensor. You can't make the kid jump whenever you want, instead he'll automatically jump if a platform is close enough, or if a ledge is low enough. As his imaginary friend, you will be tasked with manipulating the environment, so he can cross over to each area's exit. Everything that you can push or pull, has a sort of nut on it. Grabbing and pulling them are all very responsive, but sometimes it can be a bit tricky to spot them in the first place, especially as they don't have a glowing indicator and are sometimes the same colour as the object they are on. I was never searching for a long period of time though. Every so often you are able to use a catapult, which enables you to shoot buttons and other objects in the environment. It's very easy to aim, even when using the DualShock's motion sensor, which is great considering a couple of these shooting segments require spot on timing. The puzzle's difficult difficulty starts off very easy in the first world, but does increase quite a bit when you reach the second. There will be moments when you have to sit back and really think about the slightly intricate level design. In some levels, you have to pull minecarts over pressure plates, and in others you use magnets to lift up cars. Although these interactions appear in quite a few levels, new elements are added to keep the puzzles fresh, such as a level where you must bring two minecarts along with you for the whole journey, and power lines are introduced that need to be activated in order for the cranes to work. There are three worlds that include over a dozen levels in total. The main menu is inside a treehouse. This is where you will select levels to play, and will also keep track of what levels you have got a collectible in. When collected, they appear in the main menu, and they can actually be interacted with. The interaction is very limited though, and most of them won't hold your attention for long. The only one that you may spend a little bit of time with, is the handheld game, but the gameplay isn't very engaging. Although the interaction is very limited, simply being able to interact with them is definitely a step in the right direction for collectibles in VR games. Now let's take a look at how immersive this game is. The graphics are incredibly crisp and sharp, it is one of the clearest PSVR games, in fact, it is so clear that even the backgrounds are never blurry. If the kid is facing in your direction, he will look up at you. It's only a small detail, but it goes a long way in making you feel a part of the world. You can also interact with him by waving at him and by scratching his head. There is very little story overall. It begins with a few photos that explain that the dog is missing, and then some animations play out when the kid and dog are near each other. Rather than a very in-depth story, this game is all about the puzzles. The boy's footsteps change depending on what material he walks on. When he is on grass, you really do hear it get pressed below his shoe. And when he is on wood, you hear him fudding along. It really does sound great. The music is well suited throughout. In the cave levels, you barely hear it, which makes other sound effects stand out, which gives a somewhat alone feeling. The other level's music is very reminiscent of cartoons and 3D animated movies. It's quite magical, but it's never too overpowering that you can't concentrate on for puzzles. Now let's take a look at the setup, and what controllers the game supports. I played this game in a seated position just under 2 metres away from the camera. The head tracking was fine, and the game did not make me motion sick. 
This game is played with a DualShock controller, the other controllers are not supported. At the beginning of the game, you can actually choose whether you want to play as a boy or a girl. The game does support up to 3 save files, which is great for families and is often absent in VR games. Now let's take a look at the length of the game and what trophies come with it. It took me just over two and a half hours to beat the game. Like most puzzle games, the game doesn't really have any replayability, unless you miss one of the collectibles on your first playthrough. If you are a trophy hunter, you will be happy to hear that the game does come with a platinum. In total there are 23 trophies that can be achieved. There is 12 bronze, 2 silver, 8 gold and 1 platinum. Quite a few of the trophies are related to the collectibles, such as finding all of them in each of the game's areas. Some of the other trophies require you to do certain actions in the world, such as knocking down all the apples from trees. It really shouldn't be too much of a problem getting for Platinum, although there is one trophy for scoring 40 points on the handheld game. Getting 40 points is a bit tricky, as it requires brilliant timing to avoid the randomly generated obstacles. And now it's time for the verdict. This game really did remind me of Wayward Sky. It doesn't have the cinematic moments like Wayward Sky does, but the puzzles are so much better. Some really did force me to sit back and think about how everything moved and how everything would come together to create a pathway for the kid to cross. But the puzzles were never so hard that I was stuck for a very long period of time. I actually found the challenge to be almost perfect the whole way through. The image quality is superb, I really can't stress enough how sharp everything is. It really is a reminder of how crystal clear the PSVR can be, and it really would be amazing if every game on the system looked like this. Without a doubt, if you like these types of puzzle games, you really should help this kid be reunited with his missing dog. Beep! Beep! He actually paid us! Finally! Beep is mine! Well that should keep him off our backs for a while. <laughs>I really did enjoy my time with this game. It is a bit on the short side, but if you are looking for a solid puzzle game, I don't think you will be disappointed. As always, please like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe for more PlayStation VR content.